Hey there guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is All Things Shanice, where happiness is homemade. So today it's um, getting really close to the holiday season. So Thanksgiving is around the corner and we're about to be eating all the things, you know. You Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rat, So what I'm doing today in the kitchen is taking some really simple, easy ingredients and we're gonna make like a very simple peach cobbler. Like you may have seen this before, but it ain't mine. So let's get into it. Here we go, we got some Betty Crocker Super Moist Yellow Cake Mix. I'm using some cinnamon and sugar, a little, you know, flavor for the little pumpkin pie spice, a little vanilla extract, and some sweet cream butter. And we're gonna put it in a dish and we're gonna cook it up and we're gonna see what it do. What it do. Alright, so I have my baking dish here. I just tossed in my can of peaches and added in my cinnamon and sugar, my vanilla. I added in some brown sugar, some white sugar, and that pumpkin pie seasoning. Okay, now I just got my cake mix and we're just gonna put that over the top just like so. And then I'm gonna smooth it out. So I just wanna make it even, evenly spread across the whole dish. Just cover up all the peaches and the juice and be sure to leave all that yummy juice in there. Cause trust me, once you put it in the oven and you top it off with this butter I'm about to put on there, it's gonna be so delicious and caramelized. There we are. So I have one of those big blocks of butter. It's basically like a double block. So I'm just gonna cut off like, you know, some slices and then place that on top. So we're gonna use probably about a half a cup of butter. Okay, this looks like enough. So we're just gonna take your slices and you're just gonna layer it on top. Nothing fancy, no particular order. Just cover up all your spaces. There you go. So I'm a little bit extra so once I've placed all the butter pieces down I just sprinkle it with a little more seasoning so once that butter melts like the butter will just be super oozy and very flavorful okay so I want to cook mine really slow you can cook this at 375 but I'm gonna do 350 all right into the oven and I'm just gonna place it right here on the top rack and let it just do its thing we'll be back all right, it's very much smelling super amazing already. Let's do a check. Ooh, look at that butter is melting, bubbling around the sides. Oh, I cannot wait. Looks like our clock's got a seven minute countdown, but it may just need a couple more minutes. I put it down for 45 minutes, so we'll see. Ooh, I can't wait. Yummy. Okay, so here is the finished product. Look at how yummy this looks. Let's plate it. Well, I hope you guys like this video. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned by hitting that notification bell. See you next time.